Hello everyone, this is JB back again and welcome back to my channel. In this vlog, we are going to talk about how to pass physiology. So if you guys are interested in that, then keep on watching. So if you guys are new to my channel, I am JV, an incoming second year medical student from St. Luke's Medical Center, College of Medicine, William H. Quash Memorial. Yes! So in this vlog, we are going to have another episode of how to pass that subject. And in this particular episode, we are going to talk about how to pass physiology. So this series aims to help you guys pass that medical school course by giving you guys some tips and tricks and some of the references I used that I think helped me pass that medical school course. So in this particular episode, we are going to focus on physiology. So as usual, the video is divided into two parts. The first one is going to be my tips and tricks for you guys. And the second half is going to be some of the references that I used in physiology. So if you guys watch some of my vlogs, then you should know that physiology made my first year med life harder than it was supposed to be, I believe. That is why I want to share as much information that I could to help you guys have an easier life in physiology or at least I'm not sure if it's gonna be easier but I'm just gonna share it anyway because I want to help you guys. So now let's go to the tips and tricks and the first one that I'm gonna share with you guys is that physiology is more than just memorization. It is more of comprehension. One of the mistakes I did while taking physiology is that I relied so much on memorization that I forgot that I have to know and understand the concepts by heart. I mean, memorization is also essential in physiology because you have to memorize some values or like definition of terms, but then it is more than just that. You have to understand the concepts by heart. So the next tip is that you have to always look at the clinical case to master or to assess whether you understand the concepts fully. Because it's easy to study like how the blood flow from the right atrium to the right ventricle and stuff like that. It's easy to memorize those things but once you're presented with a case, it's a different thing. So when you study, I suggest that you look into some of the clinical correlations or the clinical applications of the concepts that you studied in physiology. The next step is that you have to have a good foundation in anatomy because in physiology you just talk about how the systems work but you have to know the systems first like you have to know the parts of the systems and some of the parts of the systems are vital in studying physiology so you won't know how the process works if you're not familiar with the structures in the first place so you have to know your anatomy before you study physiology. As I mentioned earlier that you have to memorize some values like for example the normal temperature of a patient the GFR and stuff like that so you need to know these values by heart because sometimes they pop out out of nowhere and like you just have to know them by heart because these are essential even if you go to medical field in the future you have to know these values so now let's move on to the references the first one is going to be the holy bible of physiology if netter's atlas is the bible of anatomy then we have a bible in physiology as well and it is guyton and hall textbook of physiology so this particular reference has actually like three types. The first one is going to be the main textbook itself. So that's what you have to read when you want like long explanations and stuff like that. It also has like a pocket companion. So it's like a very small summarized version of the topics of the textbook. So you might want to consult this when you're like done studying the textbook and you just want to like review some of the concepts because it's pretty much synthesized in this small pocket book and the last one is going to be the physiology review so it is a book filled with questions and answers based on the textbook itself so what's good about Guyton and Hall is that it's very comprehensive though sometimes I find it really long and it's hard to understand but that's just probably me so you have to check it out I mean the synthesized version is actually helpful sometimes but again I'm not sure if it's just my personal thing but some of the concepts I don't really get while studying Guyton because it kind of like uses medical jargons which I should know as a first year medical student but if you're like me who's not as familiar with the medical jargons just yet then you might want to find a different reference or a different textbook but this is the most commonly used in med school it has to be noted as well that the Guyton and Hall review book that I was mentioning earlier 
has explanations to answer so it's a really good review it's very comprehensive and it mixes the concepts sometimes which is a good assessment of your knowledge of the general flow of the systems or like how they interact with each other so if you're looking for a question bank before the exam then this is the reference for you. The only disadvantage that I see, aside from the fact that it's a very long book, is the fact that you have to buy, I mean, if you like physical textbooks, then you have to buy three different books. And that is quite expensive. But if you have your ways, then you can acquire these books online and have just the PDF version of the books. So the next reference is the less popular physiology textbook. It's Ganong's Review of Medical Physiology. I use this book for one system only and it's respiratory system because it has very good diagrams and explains the respiratory concepts really well. I haven't used this in other systems but for respiratory I can assure you that it's a very comprehensive book and I loved it because I understood it really well though it didn't reflect in my respiratory exam but i know for a fact that i understood respiratory better as compared to when i was studying gaiton so the next reference is actually one of my favorites and if you watch my how to pass anatomy and histology and how to pass biochemistry videos i have mentioned these as well and these are going to be the first aid books. So the first one is going to be First Aid Basic Science Organ Systems and First Aid USMLE Step 1. I feel like if you have these first aid references, then you're gonna have an easier time in physiology because they discuss the topics really well. They have great mnemonics, they give emphasis on like the important stuff that you have to know, and they have great diagrams so it's easier for you to visualize things and I feel like if I had known about these references prior to taking physiology then I might not have struggled as much as I did in physiology but you know things happen the next one is actually one of my least favorite references but I'm just gonna share it anyway because I heard good reviews about it and that's going to be the BRS Physiology. It's very high yield, it is a part of the BRS family, so if you've seen my previous videos about how to pass those subjects, then I always mentioned like a BRS reference, though it might not suffice as a main reference for physiology, but sometimes for studying, this is a good reference. So I suggest to have a copy of the book as well. Take note, however, that BRS books do not explain the concepts really well, or I mean in detail. It expects you to have learned some of the concepts prior, and then you just have to like study them for an exam kind of thing. So you shouldn't make this as a main reference. The next one is actually Lippincott's Physiology book. The only advantage that I saw in this book is that it explains some of the concepts really well and it has great diagrams, very colorful, and it's easier for visual learners like me to remember the concepts that it discusses in the book. However, the only disadvantage that I saw, as I mentioned in some of my videos, I believe, for Lippincott's biochemistry, it's the same problem in Lippincott's physiology because it's not as comprehensive as other sources. So if you want great diagrams, then you can definitely check this book out. However, as for main reference, I would suggest the First Aid USMLE Step 1 and First Aid Basic Science Organ Systems. So, yeah. So last but not the least is going to be the pretest physiology. It's the same thing as the pretest biochemistry. So it's a very comprehensive question bank and it mixes some of the concepts all together. So it's a good way to assess whether you understood the concepts really well and you know how they're interconnected with each other and you know their relationships to one another. So I mean in physiology you have to know the relationship of each system and you have to know how this particular system affects the different system and what its overall effect in the body is. So I hope that you are not going to have a hard time in physiology as I did and I feel like this is going to be the last how to pass series for this semester or for this 
year because subjects in first year are very limited and some of the subjects that I took are specialized in Saint looks and some of them don't really need a video like this. If you guys have questions about a specific subject that I wasn't able to make a blog for, then please comment them down below and I might be able to answer some of your questions. No assurances though, but I will try my best to answer all your questions. Also, I feel like I'm going to do another vlog on how to survive first year medical school and I'm definitely going to add some of the resources that I utilized in first year med and that made my life easier. So please watch out for that. And again, as always, I thank you guys for watching my videos. I hope they help you somehow because that's basically the purpose of my videos. I wish you guys all the best. If you guys feel like quitting, then I hope that you always remember why you started. Rest if you must, but don't you quit. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more med and pre-med stuff and other things in between. So I'll see you guys again on our next vlog. Bye! -ers.